Hello, I am, there's lots of mosquitoes everywhere. I am in the Middlesex Fells, which is close to Boston, and there's this beautiful orchid here that I want to show you. It's called a lady slipper. The genus is uh, Cypredium. So one of the really interesting things about orchids is that they have really, really tiny seeds. And I've chosen this orchid to show you. Maybe we can zoom in on it. So one of the cool things about orchids is that they've got super, super tiny seeds because they're obligate symbiotes with mycorrhizal fungus. So here's the seed bod from, from last year. You can see this orchid has its roots growing in the ground. And the orchid from last year, the seed pod is here. And so I'm gonna open this up for you. Here, let me let me break it off. So when you open it up, there's gonna be, oh no! So disappointing, the most disappointing video ever. All the seeds are gone. <laughs> Sad days. Well, anyway, hypothetically, the big reveal would have been like almost spores, like super, super tiny little seeds that uh, go everywhere. And so these seeds are so small because they don't have any sugar in them. Like most seeds, when, when trees, like tr nuts or something, they're full of energy. I'm scratching myself. This is gonna be a very strange video. Anyway, um, like something like nuts, they, they're packed with protein, which gives the seedling a head start. But the way that orchids do it is instead of packing their seeds with protein, they just make them super tiny so they can go everywhere. And then they won't germinate unless they're in the presence of a symbiotic fungus. And we don't really know necessarily what species the fungus most orchids symbiose with. I mean, I guess I could look it up for this one, but it would take me forever and I'm not gonna do it. You can look it up. If you know what species the lady slipper orchid symbiosis is with, you should write it in the comments and that would be really cool. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the, the orchid itself because the orchid is awesome. Let's zoom in on the orchid. So I think lady slipper orchids are so fascinating because they, they look like vaginas. Like there's there's no way about it. And the reason why they look like vaginas is because flowers are sexual organs. And the way these are fertilized is there's some kind of insect. Again, I don't know the kind of insect. If you know the insect that fertilizes this, write it in the comments. Um, but some kind of insect goes right up inside there and there's, there's pollen bearing structures up in here. Maybe I can get them. Yeah, yeah, here they are. Whoa, it's so sticky. So this is called a pollinia, and it's it's a, a sack of pollen that orchids make, and it's very sticky. And so the insect crawls up inside here and, and tries to get at the nectar, which is at the base of the flower, and this pollinia sticks to it, and then it will go into another orchid and fertilize it. Mm, and they're very tasty. I just ate it. I didn't film that, but that's okay. This is like one of the most spectacular flowers in New England forests. They bloom in late May, which is now, and, um, they're, they're really, really special. So uh, yeah, thank you for listening to me get bitten by mosquitoes and talk about lady slipper orchids. Bye. That's it. <laughs>